Now, precision means simply the degree of exactness that something has when you're measuring something. So if we look here, what we have here is uh, when you're using the same unit, the one that is most precise is the one that has the smallest units. Like if you have something that's a half unit, then it's less precise than something that has 1 16th of a unit. So if you have 1 and a half, 1 and a 16th, the 1 and a 16th is more precise. When you are uh, using different types or different units, the one that is, has smaller parts is more precise. So um, if you think about it, um, if you have two inches, two inches is more precise than one foot because the assumption is that if you're measuring it by feet, then you're not getting as precise. Just like if you're measuring by halves, you're not as precise as if you're measuring by sixteenths. If you wanted to make the halves more precise, and it seems sort of counterintuitive, but you would just name it as eight sixteenths instead. And so that indicates that you have measured to the sixteenth as opposed to, to the half. Now when you add or subtract units, you may have to round to the place of the least precise unit in the problem. And we're going to go over what that means in a second here. So this here is, if we look here, which unit is more precise, 3.1 liters or 4 liters? Well, 3.1 liters or 4 liters? Well, we just look, the units are the same. So all we do is we say, okay, well, now we just look and see which one has the smallest um, uh, the smallest units or smallest parts of a unit here. And this is 0.1 of a full unit, and this is just four full units. So this one over here is going to be more precise for that reason. Four quarts versus two gallons. Again, both these things. It's not to say that you couldn't have exactly two gallons, but if you say four quarts, then it's assumed that you're measuring more precisely. So four quarts because quarts are smaller than gallons. Now here, find each summer difference and round the answer appropriately. Now, when you go ahead and you have a problem like this, 6.23 pounds plus 2.1 pounds, all you do is you add them together and you just go ahead and go, well, this is going to be 8.2 plus 1, that's going to be 3, 3 pounds. Okay, but then we look back and we say to ourselves, if I want to be, if I want to round the uh, round with in mind the idea of precision, what I would do is, and you only do it when it says it says it in this particular way, rounding to precision. Otherwise, uh, in most problems, it's just assumed that that this would be 2.100. If that was if that was the way it was written, then if it was written as 2.10 pounds then it would actually have the same degree of precision as this, 6.23 pounds. But it's not written that way because it goes to the hundredths place. And this goes to the hundredths place. So what we have to do is we have to say, well, the, the least degree of precision is to the tenths place. So I round to the tenths place. And so it's going to be 8.3 pounds is going to be the most precise answer I can get. Same sort of thing with here, 5.6 and 5 meters. So I add them together, I end up with 10.6 meters. And then I look and see which one is the least precise. And in this case here, that one is. And if it was written again like this, then they would have the same degree of precision because this is to the tenths and that's to the tenths but they are not, it is not written that way. So it's instead, we have to round to the ones column and that's going to be 11 meters. It's going to be the, uh, the most precise answer we can get because if you remember, since this is six, we go up, we up the next unit um, when we round. So we go from zero to one.